And the BAFTA goes to Andrew Wincott. Where is it? Gosh, is that him? Yes! I feel kind of bad because in the last stream we killed him and then I threw him on the pool and then I glitched him off the ground. He drowned. We literally drowned Raphael last stream. My, my, what manner of BAFTA is this? Oh, it's so cool! Oh! It is a heavy one, it's true. <laughs> don't wake me up. This is extraordinary. I've made a few notes. I don't know if they're in the right order. You'll have to bear with me. Um, I don't know how many years it is now since my first session on this game. <clears throat> <laughs> um, yeah. I hadn't done motion capture before. You say four? Four years? I, I turned up to uh, pit stop. And they said, yeah, you put your, your kit in the, in the locker. <laughs> I said, what? My kit in the locker? Yeah, you put this, this um, Velcro bodysuit on. Excuse me? Um, <gasps> we were, we'd done all the tests. We were all set to go. The uh, sound was working. The avatar was behaving. Uh, and a fire alarm went off. <laughs> and out of nowhere, I was suddenly with everybody from Pit Stop standing on Croydon High Street in the drizzle of a Monday morning. So I went back to the studio, we were fine, uh, there was no fire. <laughs> Only in the nine hells. <laughs> Raphael is nothing if not theatrical. That's amazing. Don't bother me now, I'm an anti-hero from the 17th century. But every session was such fun at Pit Stop. Unbelievable, even when it was wrong, it was, went wrong, it was fun. <laughs> there came the incubus harlep. Um, you want Raphael to do what? I spent most of that session on my knees. <laughs> <clears throat> and, then, and then came the song, Raphael's final act. <laughs> Bobby, the creative genius behind the music. <laughs> We'd collaborated, we spent an hour in a, oh, in a session, and he told me exactly what to do. He said, uh, do it like this, do it like this, breathe here. Right at the end of the session, they're, going, they're watching the clock. We have to, you know, come on. And Bobby said, okay, we do it one more time. Now forget everything I told you. And that was the <laughs> one that was used. Um, thank you, Bobby. Cool. Thank you. And thanks also to my amazingly supportive family, to my agent who has to put up with my increasingly demonic demands. <laughs> and finally, I'd like to say thanks to the fans and followers of Raphael and Baldur's Gate 3 who have embraced this game from around the world. It's us. And uh, have reached out to me with their own art, sometimes their writing. It's been... Fan fiction? Really humbling you guys are DMing him with fan fiction? They've been by this, by this game. Keep creating these worlds and maybe one day we'll learn to protect the one we're in. How exciting to think what games could be doing in another 28 years. Wow. Thank you, BAFTA, for this honor. Um, final words have really to go to Raphael, or almost Raphael's words. What's better than a BAFTA you don't know? A BAFTA you do. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's so sweet. I, I'm so happy that he brought Raphael to thank. <laughs> I love his voice too. Borders Gate 3. Woo! Yeah! Oh, he's so happy. Oh. 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 Oh, he's almost crying. Good evening, everyone. Obviously, I'm overwhelmed. So the very first thing I would like to say is thank you to the BAFTA Academy and the BAFTA Games members for recognizing the video game music as an art in, in its own right. Thank you so much. I would like to say thank you from the bottom of my heart to our director, Sam Vinke, who is genuinely the most caring person I've ever met in my life. He cares about the games we make, he cares about his people, and most importantly for me, he, even though he had no idea why I was sinking down by the river, <laughs> <laughs> he, 
he trusted me from the start to the finish. So thank you, Sven, for your... I would like to say thank you to each and every one of you in this room for making this special moment in my life. Thank you so much. Gosh, I'm so happy for him. I have been listening to Boris Lav's songs in, on repeat for so many, many years. So, so, so many, many years. I have been a fan of his music for so long. I have replayed and replayed the, the Divinity Originals in the songs and time and time again. The Baldur's Gate music is absolutely fantastic. How many times have you guys seen me cry to the new music of Baldur's Gate? And, and I'm so happy that he finally got something for all his hard work. Oh, God. Oh, I'm so happy for him. He really, really, really deserved it. And one of my biggest regrets is... Before the Baldur's Gate release, I was invited to go to Belgium. And I was in the same room as Borislav. But there were so many people there and I did not see him and I didn't take a picture with him and that really hurts. Ah! Borislav was like not blinking because he knew if he blinked, the tears would just steam down. I really relate to that feeling. And a lot of times it was his fault. So it's good that he takes the same back. Honestly, dessert. Because so many times he made me cry in this game because of the music. And I had to keep with my eyes open without blinking or tears would go everywhere. So deserves. He freaking got what he deserved. A five. If Baldur's Gate doesn't win, I will win. I will eat the ship. And the BAFTA goes to, yeah, Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> yeah! Let's go! A five! <laughs> Let's go! Wait, he's been in the Golgut with his armor? Oh! Oh, Jahira! Raphael! And, and Asterion! Oh, God! Oh, they're so happy. Four Wait, is Amelia four. also there? Oh, really? I played Dungeons and Dragons with Amelia Tyler one year before Browder's Gate came out. Uh-huh. She's great. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, BAFTA. Thank you, everybody. Um, I still can't believe we're standing here. The, you look at the footage of all the games that have been nominated, and they, they look so fantastic. And I, I look at every single image of, of the game that we've made, and I know how much work went into it, how much effort the team put into every single microsecond of this incredibly large, large game that took us so long to make. It's a testament to their incredible talent. They're representatives of almost all of our departments. Uh, so so uh, there are a lot of people who put a lot of effort, a lot of heart and soul, uh, really a lot of themselves into uh, making Baldur's Gate 3. So this is amazing. Uh, so I want to thank our team. I once counted it. I came at over 2,000 people that worked in Baldur's Gate 3. 2,000 people? Um, so thank you. Thank you very much. This is super appreciated. You're, and you look fantastic. Thank you. Mm. Take care. Oh, this is so sweet. Oh, this is so sweet. Ah, oh, that's so sweet. Ah. Oh. oh, they're so happy. Oh, hugs, hugs, let's hug each other. Come on. Hug. Yeah! This game definitely feels like a gift to all of us. A gift to everyone who ever loved, you know, CRPGs and RPGs in general, you know, even even people who, who never even heard of CRPGs, they found a new a new thing to love. And, and that can't be done without people loving it first, you know, loving it so much as all those hardworking people have loved this.